I'm Frank. And I'm Anthony. And we're with Rodeo Rewind. And today uh, we're with a judge, uh, Burgess Ovett, and he's here at uh, Pay and Pony Rodeo in Lake Lucerne. So. But not just a right. judge. Yeah, we met you a as an athlete. Yeah. Correct. Uh, several years ago, I was saying Anthony was much shorter. It yeah. was like the first like week or two that he was doing the really? YouTube stuff. Well, yeah. he did a great job. And uh, so we're still going at it. But uh, we have been wanting to talk about judging because so many people, when you're at home, they we're judging. Uh, we're here. We watch the event, but we're still kind of judging it. You know, we're, we're we're trying to guess the scores. You know, it's I think it's kind of a yeah kind of fun. Today we were guessing the scores and uh, bareback. You beat me by a quarter of a point. Quarter of a point. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but I think it's still you know, things like that make yeah. it fun for us, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's always fun at home to judge. I guess what I, I always think like. What are the three things? You bring up so many good points when you visited, but like sitting on the couch, someone who maybe goes to several events a year, uh, they watch a uh, cowboy channel. Um, what are like three things that they have? Like if they kept those at, in mind, they're gonna they're gonna appreciate the judging in the event a little better. Good commentators pre-judge or judge. Yeah, sure. And, and they tell people, but I would say the criteria. Eat when you judge there's eight events mm -hmm. and you have to know the criteria for all, all eight. eight events yeah. Yeah. when you judge you have to know what you're looking for so they watch the PBR or Cowboy Channel or Pierce Shea and, and they say oh well, that was an 80 point ride and next week it might be a different criteria yeah. different place you're at right. you have to know the criteria you also have to know where you are in the arena and your perception of the animal or of the loop going on the perception is reality and when I'm on the arena, I see something different than that camera up there from the cowboy gym. Yep. And that's what people see at home. So I would say, you know, the, the criteria, you got to you know, look at where you are in the arena and the knowledge of the sport. So the judges, I don't care if it's, you know, I'm familiar with the APRA, IPRA, and I do a lot of peers yet. Yeah. And they go to school. Yeah, yeah. Study the rule book. Yep. You take a written test. Then you have a field test. You come out and you have to yep. flag. You have to be in the right position. Right. And the, the training behind it is a lot more than people think. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing behind it is there's there's a human error. Right. There's subjectivity. Or, or, or like if if the three of us watch something, even though we have criteria, our interpretation of that Correct. is might be all a little different, right? Yep. Yeah. And, and, and anything can happen. Rodeo is right now one of the only sports I believe that don't have. Uh, Rewind, replay, replay. replay. Yeah. and I'm okay with that because yeah. there is the human error. I'm puts, judging something. Because umpires judging a better position. Right. Yeah. yeah, you would go to a baseball game. That umpire sitting down behind that yeah. Yeah. plate with the pitcher in front of him has the best perspective than that guy up there. Yeah. What we do. So you have to know it. And some of the people who don't rodeo. Right. Don't know the background. Yeah. Don't know the events where it came from. What you're looking for. You know the for the animals. How hard they buck. Well, there's 11 criteria in uh, PRCA, um, and then how well they rode, how well they controlled themselves, or the aggressive, right. they spur. Yeah. And yeah. the time to that. So many things. You know, in the calf rope, and you watch tonight. The guy had calf down. Get the calf up. Yeah. Um, if you watch Calgary, I'll just watch Calgary. Calf gets down. It's no time. Every association, every place you go has different rules. You got to know them all. I've judged. And, and, yeah. and, the, and the, the arena setups are different, different. too, everyone. This I was is, in Calhoun, Pennsylvania last night. That very short room. We thought this was tight. This is tight. This is narrow. Narrow. This wall's going to come at you real fast. This is narrow uh, for team rope. And some of the shorter ones makes the girls or guys have to get out behind that barrier. But then you go to the barrels in Cheyenne or Pendleton, and, huge. and they're huge, right? And then it looks like at Pendleton, they got to go up over a ridge yeah. to get out of the grass. Yeah. So it is, it's hard to judge um, different associations like I do, but I've done it, you know, I've done 20 years of judging, right. and I still compete on the side. Mm -hmm. um, everyone has different. I did the, our circuit finals seven years at the South Circuit We want to go to the Run, yeah. I, I steer wrestled at it last year. I made it in steer wrestling. That's awesome. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've judged that seven times. Right. I've judged Southeast Circuit. I've done Northeast IPRA, AFR a million times. Mm -hmm. um, 
everything's different. You gotta know where you are and what your staff is. And the other thing about judging, you need to ask, but it's, it's physically demanding, exhausting you, because you're in every run. Yeah, so, and, and, and mentally, 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 physically, you're in every run. When that brought came down tonight, I had to hustle to get around to see my foot, so I could see the guy spurring on my side. Every run, I gotta concentrate on that nod, I gotta see the loop go on, I gotta see the dallies. Every run, you're mentally doing something. Plus, you're physically running, riding a horse right. for two hours. Yeah. But we're here that's, three hours prior setting up. That was amazing. I didn't realize you were here three hours. So that, we, wanted, we wanted to go to Cowtown uh, because of the Extreme Bowls of that. Yeah, yes, I judged that last year. Really? Yeah, we have, we, uh, we uh, a good friend of ours, Scott Grover, is going to announce it. Yeah. And, and he's such a great guy. And, uh, you had yeah. some rule, so, like funky rule yeah. questions. So, I have two questions. My first one, so, I'm, on a baseball umpire, positioning is so important. What are like the three main positions for you as a judge? Okay. Here? On timed event, when I'm the line judge, I have to stand on the line when that barrier is going to break. Right. If, the, if it malfunctions, I have to make a decision that the animal cross the line or did the contestant come out of the box first. Yeah. So it's standing on that line where you can see the nod and see that barrier. Your per personal vision. Every, if you watch from the position of horses, every event is a different position. Yeah. And the team are open. I was up there on the line, yeah. assisted by line judge, and I floated out behind the header. The bulldog and I'm over here on the side. Yeah. Gap yeah, rope over down that position. Oh, and, and I saw you had to work your way up a couple times. During calf rope, yeah. you have to watch and put the tie yeah. on. I want to stay 20 to 30 feet apart, 45 degree angle, to make sure the calf doesn't kick out. There's, there's technicality to some of the stuff people don't Yeah, get. yeah, and then uh, ear wrestling, you got to make sure all four all legs four are out. going in the yeah. same direction. And they had some puff stairs, so like, right, yeah. they were kind of hard to keep going and get in the right yeah. position. Yeah. And then talk about positioning your rough stock, some people don't realize if you're on the hinge side, where the gate opens yep. as a hinge. You have to be straight out so you can see that hinge. If you're on the pin side, the other right. side, I'm on an angle. Is that a 45 yeah. again? Yeah. 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 So you, ha you have to put yourself in the best position to make the best call possible. That's what you need to do. I did. My wife times now. She started about 10 years ago, but when, before that, I don't think she realized how much it was into this judging. How much she's up there, she's probably still doing paperwork. Yeah. She's up there still doing paperwork with the secretary yeah. and, and get ready for tomorrow's work. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. you know, yeah. um, there's, there's so much into it, but it's it's, it's entertainment. Yeah. It's a profit. It's an industry. And that's everybody puts time in it for you, know, however you make your living. Well, we were, saw that they have schools for everything. And we were like, I don't know, maybe we should just as an experience go to one of the schools. Yeah. And, and he's, he's, not, he's only 14, oh, yeah. Yeah. so we're thinking when he's 18, I think we're going to start trying to go to some of these schools or just even learn. and just learn and have the experience that we can share with people. Yeah. We have to go every two years in the Paris A.A. to a clinic, and um, I actually put schools on for the a AFR, APRA, mm -hmm. with Sean, guy I judged with tonight. We put, well, I put schools on, um, and well, we you got to come to you gotta come to a yeah. Because I just think, I mean... I feel like we're kind of have, over the years, we've kind of fallen into this obligation of, we're asking the real questions that people have, and, you know, yeah, you guys we're sharing it. We started, we are fans, we oh, still, yeah, we, love. we have the Cowboy Channel, we're watching every, every weekend. Oh, yeah. And we're just... And you guys have put a light on some of this Northeast stuff that... Um, oh, yeah. Other people don't know what happens. Well, people don't realize, I said earlier, I can go to Rodeo five nights a week here in the summer. Um, my other question, we have, there are so many technicalities with Crossfire and Markout and all the other things. What are the three most complicated rules for you to judge? Right now, Crossfire is the hottest topic in any association, anywhere you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and everybody has their own criteria. It keeps changing. Yeah. The PRCA keeps changing our crossfire rule. And, and all, all the associations are different, I'm sure. Everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone's different in the calf roping. You watch Calgary, and did you know they got a bunch of no times because calf got knocked out? Yeah, right. Tonight, it's a five-second 
procedure for the tie inspection in the PRC, it's six seconds. But I would say this crossfire is hard to keep up on it. Because mm -hmm. it changes. It so changes. Uh, if it's the initial switch, if it's the, the head motion and then the hip, they keep changing the lingual right. and they keep changing the criterions. Yeah, and it's all in interpretation. Like, I feel like a lot of people at home think it's like all like it's this very closely defined. But with all sports, it's very interpretation. Your perspective, like, yeah. your opinion, your interpretation. Yeah. And when I started this years ago, there's Jack Hannum was passed. His dad, uh, he was supervisor of pro officials. His son, Olin, still still wrestles. And uh, he used to say, have an opinion. He says, you got that, you make that split second decision. I don't care if it's right or wrong. You make an opinion, you make a decision, you stick with it. Stick by it. Yeah. And you got to yeah. stick with it. And yep. the other uh, hard rule right now, it's not a hard rule, it's a hard event. Yeah. This breakaway is it's blowing like breakaway, up. Breakaway is, I think, I, I think it's the, it's the fast. biggest, it's the biggest addition to the sport Chris. in a long time. And we haven't figured it. We've been doing it a long time in uh, some of the amateur associations, but in the PRCA, we haven't been doing it up here. Yep. In the last five years, really picked up. Every girl does it. It's two seconds. I wish it went a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Years ago, yeah. They break away. They continue to switch us from side to side to see the, the rope break away from. Mm -hmm. So some perspective says it's faster over there. A judge on that side of the arena, the roper's right-hand side, can see it break off quicker, right? Yeah. But if you're gonna catch a leg, you're gonna catch the left leg. Right. So a lot of yeah. us like to ju time judge from this side. Mm -hmm. I would rather be a little slower instead of pay somebody who didn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. So that watching that break off is so hard, yeah. and so quick. And uh, is that like your option or? No. They're, they're making that they, decision. Yeah, yeah. the association you work for tells you where to go. Okay. Yeah. Treat of Cumberland, right? Yeah. And we get to see some big time. Or, or, we saw or, uh, Larson came in. The last one of the year. They're all there. Tough. The year you guys were there, I had Trisha Martin mounted. He rode my horse yep. and made NFR at that rodeo. He won whatever On your was. Horse. Casey? Yeah. Yeah. He um, made it. We, we had we, we had Curtis Cassidy there from Canada. He's been to the NFR a million times. Um, they all come because it's the last one. And, yeah. And uh, we had uh, Tuff Cooper last Tuff, year. Last yep. year it was we Tuff got Cooper. Got a great interview with him. And then two. Uh, breakaway ropers who made NFR. Yeah, correct. So, here's my question. Now we th that same week we have the Governor's, Governor's Cup. Cup. That's which gonna, has got the gonna, money. That's gonna that kind of kill these others. We're done. It's kind of a bummer because it was kind of unless you to see don't someone, make the Governor's Cup and you're, like, you're, couple, you're, you're, you're a couple to, hundreds out. You yeah. have to compete in uh, specific rodeos. Correct. So to make the Governor's yeah. Cup. So if you aren't in that area can't make it to those rodeos you're going to cumberland you're going to edmonton it know. is kind of fun to see guys hit those quick yeah. tens yeah like last year they were showing a tough schedule on the cowboy yeah. channel before an event and that was um it was like cumberland edmonton was all these california california yeah like, one of the boys drove cross country was it him or was it the year before the santos boy drove cross country yeah from california out here his mom Wow, so much has she done for the sport with, you know. Yeah. Uh, Anybody that does PR, does yeah. podcasts, does yeah. YouTube channels are promoting and they don't know it. Yeah. They're helping us. That's Space, why I went. You've been kind of with us since the beginning, so it's really, we appreciate it. I, I look forward to seeing you guys. I will yeah. It was look fun at the to YouTube see you channel. Yeah, I, I, I haven't, you said we were in there a few. I yeah. haven't looked the last month or so, but yeah. I'm, I'm one of your subscribers yeah. on that YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, it's great. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're trying to bring in like, uh, we're trying to bring.